just a quick dry fit of the shower tray that we produce which has proved very popular with converters and self builders. Okay so we've started to prepare this area. This van is actually not having a shower in it but we're sort of allowing for it in the future. So for the time being it's just going to be a cubicle with a toilet in it and the shower can be added later. So because it just had carpet in the van we've, we've put some PVC board just up one side just to make it a bit more waterproof but we've recessed the floor just because there is a slight dip in the tray and taken the top part of it out so when it comes to it we can put a plug in the top and the fitting in from underneath and it comes out in a place which is you know not fine for all the components underneath the van it's not going to interfere with anything and the pipes pipe work again for the time being it's just going to have a flush on the toilet but we've actually pre-installed some hot and cold water pipes just in the eventuality that it has we retrofit a shower in the future these are just 50 mil high supports for the shower tray just in there just to, to support the back of it and this is just a little packer 6 mil just to raise the toilet up slightly now the shower trays come like this should you decide to order one from us we do a version for the left and the right hand side of the van obviously driver and passenger most of the ones in the UK go for the passenger side but occasionally people like it on the driver side and we've made the wheel arch so it's it can actually be moved up and down the van depending on the wheelbase of the van and the make and model so we've made it as universal as we possibly can now some people like to use different sort of toilets or portable toilets or composting toilets it's uh, entirely your choice uh, in this stage we've actually gone for a cassette toilet and we've cut the shower tray out to accept the cassette toilet the toilet has a good lip around the edge of it so it gives us a bit of leeway for fitting it so we just sit the toilet on top draw around it put the back out obviously we do just have to support the sides and the back of the tray. The other thing we do to prepare the tray is just make sure the sides are as flat as we can get them and level all the way around. Because they are handmade and of course they come out of a mould, everyone is, will be slightly different. So you can spend a little bit of time and get the sides straight and level so with some sandpaper or a router. Underneath, just to give it longevity, we've filled the inside of the ribs in with some earth bond and seal, or you could use sick flex or silicon, just so there's no flex where you're actually walking or standing in the tray. It, it's pretty much going to last the life of the van. It's made out of good thick fiberglass which at the end of the day is a lot better than a plastic tray in even if it's just for the fact that it is repairable should anything happen to it in the future okay so we're just going to dry fit it today just for the purpose of the video just to show how it goes in so normally we will be using bond and seal to bond the shower tray underneath to the floor and to the ribs and to the side of the van when we fit it. We 
find the easiest way to trim the edge of the shower tray is to, as you're bonding the edge to the wall, just use some tile trim which you can put between the shower tray and the wall and that will give you a nice finish when it's all bonded together. On this edge of the shower tray, what we do is we cut some 20 by 20 aluminium angle and again it just hides the edge of the tray it also gives us something to put the runner for a timber door on which we supply with a with a runner which matches the tray so that can just sit on the edge between the walls and the shower tray which can be bonded in and sandwiched between the walls as you fit in it so we need to lift the side wall in first because it's too tall to get in the side edge in. since we've used some corner profile for the side so it is just a little tricky to get it all together Okay, so that's the toilet in situ. Obviously, it will need to be siliconed in just to keep all, all, it all dry and water out if you're going to use it as a shower. Just some more tile trim around the edge before we put the sides in. 